Do you hear me? Hello, Katie and Anna. That must be heavy. Allow me. <laughs> what a very pretty hat. I feel a surge of deep satisfaction. Much as a king astride his noble steed. Thank you. When I return from daily strife to harp and wife, how pleasant is the life I lead. Dear, it's about the children. Yes, yes, yes. I run my home precisely on schedule. At 6.01, I march through my door. My slippers, sherry and pipe are due. At 6.02, consistent is the life I lead. George, they're missing. Splendid, splendid. It's grand to be an Englishman in 1910. King Edward's on the throne, it's the age of men. I'm the lord of my castle, the sovereign, the liege. I treat my subjects, servants, children, wife, with a firm but gentle hand, noblesse oblige. It's 6.03 and the heirs to my dominion are scrubbed and tubbed and adequately fed. And so I'll pat them on the head and send them off to bed. Ah, lordly is the life I lead. A British nanny must be a general. The future empire lies within her hands. And so the person that we need to mold the breed is a nanny who can give Commands. You getting this, Winifred? Oh, yes, dear. Every word. A British bank is run with precision. A British home requires nothing less. Tradition, discipline and rules must be the tools. Without them, disorder, catastrophe, anarchy. In short, you have a ghastly mess. Splendid, George. Inspirational. The Times will be so pleased.